do it. Um, and it claims that what they what they teach is that uh, what they supposedly say that Jesus says is, "I am a man just as you, but I know how to use the power of my spirit through my knowledge." And, and this is why he can perform miracles and nobody else can, uh, because he learned how to use the power of a spirit through knowledge, whereas the rest of us just need to catch up. And so it, it totally negates any kind of any kind of power being from the Lord itself, himself, uh, giving the man the ability to heal people and do miracles. This is something that can be obtained. This is something that you can learn. This is what they teach. Uh, it's the laws of nature and the laws of creation and the power of man's spirit that embodies life, it's, it, that heals the sick, that raises the dead. In other words, it's through your own power and not God's. Uh, you know, and, and then on another wing, out of nowhere, because they always, they always speak out of both sides of their mouth, they'll claim man is God's temple. He needs no graven images or ornate buildings with another man's name placed on them. And, and that's true. <laughs> But they won't tell you it's it's that uh that's not a most high God, it's the fact that man is, is can become himself a God. So that you yourself are your own temple. And you don't need to meet in a church uh with graven images or ornate buildings with somebody else's name placed on them. And and when I read that it made me think because how many churches today do we have that we call the Lord's churches and they're named after saints or they're named after somebody's name or something else? How many are just named after him? You know, the Most High, the Lord, and not very many, you know. Uh, in, their, in their writings, they have a curse of Israel, and they claim that Israel was never a tribe of their own, uh, that, all, that at all times they've always made a living from murder, robbery, and fire. Uh, and so that's interesting. They, they claim that Israel was not even its own race, that it was never its own nation. That was, you know, so that's ridiculous. They're totally negating uh, the ancient Israeli race. Of course, we know that the Jews today, most of the Jews today, are not real Jews. You can look at Revelation 2, 9, and 3, 9, where it talks about how they claim they're real Jews, but they're, they're fake Jews out of the synagogue of Satan. Uh, but, but he's wiping out the entire fact that they even existed as a nation. Uh, some of the things I thought were interesting because they're, they're, they're always running so far from accountability. You know, there's never any accountability for anyone's actions. You just you develop bad karma, or on your on your next incarnation, then you learn to get it right then, or something. They hardly ever approach accountability. Uh, but then again, speaking out of both sides of their mouth, I thought this was funny because uh, they actually approach it. If you look in the journals directly, uh, and here they say, and, and they call us hate speech. That's what I thought was so funny because I get I get contacted by so many New Agers all the time. Uh, who, who tell me my, my websites are fear-mongering, that they're hate. And, you know, if, if they're fear-mongering and hate, how would, how would they deal with the Lord who was holiness or hell preaching the whole time he was here? You know, they, they simply can't deal with the truth. They don't want to deal with accountability. Uh, but here their own leaders are requiring of them accountability, something you won't see in, in their emails that they send to their list, but it's clearly written right here in the journals. It says in their own journals that if two men consort with one another in intimate sexual relationships, they should be punished for the fallible, for the, uh, for the fallible or unworthy of life and its laws. Therefore, they should be sterilized and further expelled and banned before the people. Uh, so that's their way of dealing with homosexuals. They should be sterilized and banned from the people. Uh, but they claim if, however, two women cohabit with each other, they should not be punished. For they do not go against life and its laws, since they are not inseminating but bearing. Uh, they they deal with the fact that child molesters and pedophiles should be killed. Also, those involved with incest uh, and practice bestiality all should be killed. And so, <laughs> there are a lot more. Uh, you know, all we do is preach the sin, and then preach the, you know forgiveness of it. And uh, there's no forgiveness here. These people are, are just banning them uh, to be killed. And so, so much for their peace-loving, la-da-da, we're going to live on clouds and, and, and jump into an eternal state of existence. These kinds of people won't even be allowed in their presence. It says here, who, he who marries a man or a woman who was divorced should be sterilized and banned from the people. 
A man who begets children out of wedlock should lose his life, and he who creates a child in this union abandons his child shall have his name stricken from the book of life. So any man who begets children out of wedlock would be killed. Uh, the only reason for divorce is adultery. If a person is responsible for adultery, he should be sterilized. <laughs> so, so far we've got sterilization for homosexuals. Uh, for those uh, who are divorced, or if you marry a divorced, if, if he who marries a married man or woman who was divorced, if you marry a divorced person, you get sterilized. Uh, and then if you divorce children out of wedlock, all oh, those are killed. <laughs> the ones who commit adultery are sterilized. Okay. Uh, and so that's, that's part of the judgments here, folks, that you want to see them putting out on their famous email list. Uh, because they never talk of judgment then. It's all just love and peace and we're all going to get along. Uh, on page 78 of this Phoenix Journal, uh, journal number two, it says, Israel deems themselves above all the human races as the chosen people and consider themselves a separate race. Israel was never a race, a race nor a nation, thus could not be a chosen race by whatever definition. Uh, they go on with their own parable of the weeds and the fruit as opposed to the parable of the wheat and the tares that we have in the book of Matthew. Uh, and this one is the weeds that are gathered and burned and the fruit are spared. They don't say anything about tares per se. Uh, and they claim that God is the spiritual ruler of the three races, but the creation is above him, whose laws he faithfully follows, and that he, God, is not omnipotent. Only the creation itself can be omnipotent, thus there are limits to God. And, and they don't come out and say that there's not a supreme God being, a su top supreme being. They just say that he's limited and that he has to follow the laws of creation, that he's bound by the laws of creation himself. Um, that they aren't bound to him. <laughs> they kind of reverse it. Uh, and they claim that God is a man on a far greater dimensional perfection, dimension of perfection, and it is left for man to grow in his own truth and perfection that he can attain such perfection. In other words, that man can become a God. That, yes, we do have a God that, that lives in a far greater dimension of perfection, uh, but that we can also obtain the same thing. And there you hear that Satan's hiss, um, where we can all become gods. You know, they'll say that Jesus wasn't killed. They don't take out the story of his death and, and cru his crucifixion and resurrection. They just rewrite it. Uh, they claim that he wasn't killed, uh, but in a state of semi-death for three days and placed in a tomb. Uh, and, and basically that creation is above man, above God, and above everything. Uh, and a lot of these, these teachings directly on Jesus himself that we're seeing come out uh, from the Illuminati circles, from the Masonic uh, teachings, uh, that Jesus married, that he had children, that he escaped death on the cross, that they, they crucified the wrong person.